Hi, it's Deborah Atkinson, the Voice for Fitness, and the author of Navigating Fitness After 50, your GPS for choosing programs and professionals you can trust. If you clicked on this, you are, there's a strong chance, a woman going through menopause or maybe perimenopause, maybe just after it, and you had some weight gain that, you know, is like a visitor you didn't know was coming and has decided to stay. And probably it's happened more around your midsection. That's the biggest complaint that I've heard in working with clients for 28 years, that all the rules have changed suddenly. They're still eating well, they're still exercising, but what used to work for them isn't working anymore and it's depositing more around their middle than anywhere else is their biggest complaint. So here's a couple of things. That's not just vanity. We don't just want to look good, which is that's your motivation, that's okay. But it's also a health risk. So that visceral fat is what it's called, is also a risk for heart disease more than any others and some other diseases too. So the thing is we need to take care of it and what can you do? A couple of things. When you look again at eating healthy and what that means to you, you need to re-examine are you eating you know, every three to four hours to maintain your blood sugar level? Are you eating adequate amounts of fats, good healthy fats? olive oil, avocado, salmon, oily fishes, those kinds of things included in your diet keep you more satisfied and actually higher protein foods throughout the day also will help you burn more fat and stay satisfied so you have fewer cravings in the first place. Exercise is also really important but exercise and I'm a fitness expert so I know it only takes you home. The exercise complements nutrition. So you've got to be doing both. And then you've got to reduce your stressors. So if you can't get rid of them, you're going to stay married, you're going to keep the kids, you're going to keep the house, you're going to just need to find ways to reduce your stress. Maybe that's yoga for you. Maybe it's music. Maybe it is a glass of wine. But you need to figure out what it is that helps you reduce your stress and then do it. And if that was helpful for you, Click here and I've got more tips for you on how to manage the middle during menopause and beyond. And I'll see you there.